How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here and today we are going to be taking a look at the Brawlhalla reveals that were just shown on live stream at BCX 2019, the Brawlhalla World Championship. Let's go ahead and take a look at these reveals. There's several reveals, so sit back and enjoy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of our favorite times here at the World Championship as we do Every world championship, we say, we have a few surprises to show everybody here. Oh, yeah. So we're going to reveal a few things. And, um, man, we've got, a, we've got a few things to reveal yeah. here today. i got a big smile on my it's, face because I mean, I'm, I'm excited to show people all the stuff we've got here. And um, we're just we're – just, hold on. I bet everybody in the chat's like, shut up. Show us the stuff. <laughs> uh, it's all right. It's all right. We, we, we've we've got a, so we've got a few. So we've got, we've got a few things. So, first up here is oh yeah, a brand new game mode. That's right. So we've got a video to show you guys what it's all about. Let's roll the clip. With patch 3.52 comes the introduction of a new game mode, Capture the Flag. In this 3v3 game mode, teams will protect their flag and fight to unite the opponent's flag to their base to take control of Demon Island. This video is designed to help everyone from the newest of players to the most experienced to understand the nuances of the CTF game mode. In Capture the Flag, the objective is to run across the map, steal the opponent's flag while protecting your own, and bring it back to your flag base to score. You must have your own flag at your base to score. First team to three points, or most points in eight minutes, wins. To pick up the flag, an unarmed player has to run to the enemy flag and press the pick up button. Carrying the flag will slow your character's movement speed down significantly, meaning you'll have to rely on teammates to protect you while you move. Pressing any attack button or throw button will cause you to throw the flag, and you must be holding the flag in order to score. While holding the flag, avoid being hit by the opposing players in any way since this will cause you to drop the flag. You can pick up the flag again, however, a player from the enemy team can return the flag to their base simply by walking over that unheld flag. Now for some of the more nuanced details of the game mode. Each legend's stats are equalized to the same values, so no legend's stats drastically impact the game. This way, players can pick legends they prefer based on weapon sets and signature kits. Controlling both flags is the key to victory, so make sure to protect your flag as well. If a flag falls off the map, it'll respawn back at its original base. Keep in mind, players can walk off the left and rightmost platforms, where the flag bases are, and get KO'd. KO'd players will respawn on their respective sides of the map. Enjoy the new Capture the Flag game mode and seize control of Demon Island. If you want to find the latest Brawlhalla news, check us out at Brawlhalla.com and follow us on Twitter. Capture the flag. Yeah. That's the next new game mode. You know I'm excited about that. I love the team cooperation so kind of so game good. modes. You know, I'm a big Brawl Ball fan. I'm a big Kung Fu fan. Capture yep. the flag might surpass my interest <laughs> for those things. I can't wait to yeah. set up my god squad of Capture the Flag players. Boomy and Exif, oh. are you out there? Oh, I see. Me and the boys are... are me and the boys are going to be out there practicing and accepting all challengers. Yeah. I, I can't wait for this for this you're, to be you're, coming you're out. Building them up together again, and it's coming out you soon. Gotta, oh, oh, really? It's coming out soon. That's absolutely how exciting. All right. So this mode was like a ton of fun to work on. I mean, we, we yeah, you were on, heavily on involved in the process, yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah. tell us a little bit about what it was like. I mean, it was you know how do you get. Uh, a kind of map like capture the flag is always about how do I out juke the opponents right. you know, take an alternate path kind of that team based gameplay of cat and mouse almost yeah except double sided cat and mouse that's right that's right it's way different than brawl ball because there's two objects to deal with at the same yeah. time you can't just and this is something we rely on a lot in brawl ball you can't just be a really great brawl ball runner and avoid everybody and get yep. it in yourself it, it is even more of a team-based game than Brawl Ball it's is. It's very important. He protect, he attack, but most of all, he bring flag back. That's what we're <laughs> looking for. I, dude, I want to make that up. Somebody out there, 
Get that meme with the Daiku he protect the attack. I saw it out there before, like a year ago. I want that. But that most needs to importantly, he bring flag. You back. need them both. That's how you <laughs> score the points. That's so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have warned you about that one. That all right. That was great. Oh. I was not expecting that. That was that was really good. But it, it, I, I noticed uh, when when the video reel was playing, you, yeah. were, you were nodding your head when you saw Queen Nai running at the same speed as Hattori. You did see like, that, huh? Ah, ah, yes. It's like because, that's awesome. You know, other objective-based game modes where it's like, all right, you got to cross this distance. It's always the question of like. Ah, do I want to sacrifice the points yeah. in that stat? Right, right, right. You know, in in, in Brawl Ball, uh, there's very much a, a character pick meta. Yep. And in the top, the top tiers of gameplay, and it's not an official competitive game mode, sure, right? So, sure. but so the top tiers I mean, of gameplay. Heated, don't get me wrong. Really have, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, but so the top tiers of gameplay, you you see kind of the same few characters. You know, if you're running the ball, you, you want to be Lucy and Hurtori oh, and sure. have the most speed you can have. Um, if you're clearing the goal, you want somebody with signatures that are good to clear the goal yep. uh, and, have, and have weapons that can lock people down for long periods of time. And that's, and that's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's fun to be able to make those choices. But there are a certain amount of characters that are like, what are you doing? You know, like, yeah. why, why would oh, you yeah. bother? Um, and as, a, as somebody who loves Queen Nai... I simply cannot play her in one of my favorite game modes. Right, because you're usually so playing the front man. I'm, I'm the ball runner, so I cannot <laughs> play. So when I saw Queen Nine moving at the same speed as that high speed character, smiles I was like, oh, yeah, I'll play Queen Nine, dude. It's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm excited about that, that mechanic of equalizing the stats. I think yeah. that's great. And things get heated during Capture the Flag. A lot oh, of big play time. tests. We would have to mend those friendships over lunch afterwards. Yeah, it, it got it got it got pretty intense uh, in the office with with, oh, with yeah. those mats. And and let me tell you, man, uh, carrying the flag back it's it's a way different it's way different than bringing the ball back. Yeah, uh, in brawl ball hectic. because you got a juke and and but luckily the the way that that map is set up, there's some serious jukes oh, to yeah. be had. All right, guys, we are ready. For our second reveal Ooh, now, number two, we got one one of many, or well, we've one down of many. Number two of many here. All right, um, all right. Would you like to? You, I did the last one. You can say okay, the next. Okay, all right, one. sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we do have a new legend to reveal for you guys. It's earlier in development than we usually show you things. So take a peek, enjoy this special look. I have goosebumps. I, I literally have goosebumps. I, I, every time that trailer, like the, the piano keys at the end, just like <laughs> get me out. Ah, that is so I on brand for this legend. That's right. It's going to be Axe and Scythe. And I'm a big fan of spooky things. Yes. You know this. Yes. You know this. I think it's no secret. Despite us using the uh, random character silhouette there, there uh, might be show. some early effects in there that would clue you in. It's 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 a vampire. We, yeah. Come on, I mean, that's, there's no secret there. It's a vampire. It's it's really gonna look sick. The concept art that we've got oh my is like, gosh. oh man, it's gonna be so 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 cool. Um, and you got to see some of those signatures there. Wings. I, again, oh. that character is like super deep in alpha. So you you saw some some animation stubbing. You saw how like. They just kind of teleport to places, yep. and and there's no like transition stuff in between. Um, we really it's, wanted to show you guys, yeah, despite him being very very early. I think it was worth it uh, to show you guys there. So oh, and he was one of the most fun legends to work on. Like, yeah, tell us a little bit. Do you kit, do you remember kind of how some of his 
kit works off oh, the top of your man. head to tell everybody? So pretty much. And, and things might change. Things might change. None of this is final. Yeah, but yeah. Give us some insight. How, well, how does some I, of this I will say, work? you know, uh, Derailed was actually the, the lead animator on yeah. this one. And when it was like chosen, okay, we're going to do Axe Sight. It's going to be Vampire. He just hit the ground running and was like, I know exactly <laughs> what I want here. I want the back cloud teleports. I want, like, big wing slashes. And... Man, he hit the nail on the head. It is super cool. I know you saw a couple things with some of those signatures yeah, having alternate effects, uh, like side acts different if you just tap it or hold oh, it. Oh, you got some active inputs on these oh, signatures? Yeah, that, oh, yeah, that side, side signature with the back cloud oh. active input. Okay. If you want to rewatch for that uh, Twilight Grove, uh, <laughs> you know, search through the VODs of these reveals. It's, oh, man, I am just super excited for this legend. Like, Man, that's yeah. awesome. I, he's so sick. He, I, I, maybe that's maybe exciting. it will actually make me pick a main. Like he's the perfect <laughs> monster. That's right. You are like the official oh. random main that's in the goes. office. But Even the when monsters, we're doing man. tournaments, this guy, this guy picks random. But yeah, you are a you're a spooky character player. Every game, every fighting game we've ever played together, you're that's, playing something uh -huh. that literally grosses me out. As we're fighting love, each other, I love it so much. <laughs> but you know what? This you guys one, are gonna this love. guy's not gross though. He's he's. Spooky, oh, but yeah. he's oh, super he's cool. So suave. Yeah, ah, it's gonna. That's a, that's an awesome one. That's very awesome. Yeah, but you know what? You guys are gonna love. We have more reveals. More reveals, uh, and this next one, this might be the biggest reveal of all. I mean, I know you guys oh. are still waiting for the meta dev, and we we got that coming, but this one is, this is huge. This yeah. is huge, and I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not going to spoil it. Let's just roll the clip. Yeah. Get ready. Brawlhalla's coming to mobile. Yeah. You can be able to play this on your phone, and it'll, it, it, it'll cross-play with everybody else, oh too. Oh, my gosh. And, and it's, it feels nice. Let me tell you guys. You saw, it's like, you know, Noel, Baboon, yep. Joker Jerome, Dark Ghoul, we had a, uh, Grizzly. We had a ton of people in the community in that video. Getting hands on. Ask them. Get, get on Twitter and ask them. It feels better than you think. I, I, Brawlhalla is a, Brawlhalla is a game of very tight, quick, responsive controls. Yep. And we knew that going into development of it, and and that was that was like the main thing to work on, right? Yeah. Is oh, how yeah. how it feels to play. You got to imagine we went through so many iterations of control schemes and how how to make it work. We had a bunch um, of in-house tournaments amongst the dev team just yeah. to make sure let's tournaments get these tournaments with down actual right. we had tournaments with actual prize pools yep. in the office like big <laughs> money prize pools because because uh, we we needed to really make sure it felt good so check this out brawlhalla.com slash mobile to register right now for the closed beta when you register you will receive an email with a custom link that link belongs to you and is meant for you to share. If you share that link to get other people into the beta, whenever somebody uses your link, it increases your chances of getting picked for the mobile, the mobile beta test. Oh, wow. That's right. And so you'll, you'll have it on your phone. You'll be one of the lucky few having it on your phone to play. So get get your link online, send like it out straight to up. All your friends, you'll just so be able to play. You it. guys can get in, get your hands on it. That's right. Also, I mean, the touchscreen controls are fantastic, but yeah. it also can you can connect up controllers to your phone, right? You can connect right. up Bluetooth, Bluetooth controllers. Man. My phone, my phone works with a PS4 controller, so like nah. I'm playing <laughs> PS4. I mean, but. But, but it's, I've seen you do your Qatar half pipes on the mobile yeah, controls. Yeah, you actually, yeah, you can actually do 
like all the combos. I know one of the first things that I practiced up, I was like, all right, what's the best way to whip out a Russian mafia here? <laughs> and like, it's pretty great. It like, takes it's some just practice, a, but. Well, I mean, you, the buttons are just there and I get to just swipe my finger across right. like I would on my normal controller and like, it just works. I know, awesome. for, I know for a fact, after a few months of this beating out, we're gonna have some mobile nutters, like totally oh, be crazy. beady, yeah, like, I, we're, it, it actually, with with the the bit of practice we've had on it, I, I'd say I, I maybe have 20 hours or so of, of mobile gameplay. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot where I can take out some people on PC just fine. Uh, that's only after 20 hours. It's really, Why? it's a bit like relearning the game sure. with how you have it's to like control learning things. learning new controller. Um, but the nice thing about it is that you actually get to customize your on-screen controls really oh, yeah. however you want. There is so that. much customization. If you play on like a pad, you can you can set up your keyboard controls on touchpad if you wanted to. That's, what That's one how of our you artists was and doing. Yeah, Man yeah, like, oh. Manny did that. Oh my god. I just got <laughs> word that our mobile our our website went down. Is that right? Taza is our website down? <laughs> Everybody's trying to rush in, grab their links, send it out to their friends. Oh Whoops. my god! <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> keep checking. It'll be, it'll be back. If you want to watch that trailer again, it's on YouTube right now. Links available there. You can see it on. The Maybe trailer. you can't get to brahala.com/mobile right now, but don't worry because it's it's not a first come first serve thing. You'll you'll get oh, in, yeah. and when you get that link, once you sign up for the beta, and you get that link. It's all about you sharing that link. And, and it's, not, yeah. um, it's not purely based off of that. It's not like only the people who are able oh, to share sure. with a lot of people can get in. There's also lottery aspects to it. So simply signing up is just enough in some cases. But you do increase your odds of getting in by sharing the link that you get. Yeah. Uh, so follow we will, our Twitter. That's right. Because that's where all these news and uh, videos are going to go as well. And notifications about when that website gets back up and available for all of you. That's right. So we'll tell you on Twitter when the website comes back up because you guys hugged it to death. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Thank, thank you. you for like, that hug. We appreciate geez, the We appreciate the crazy. interest. Absolutely. Brahalla on mobile is happening and it feels great. So when you're when you're flying somewhere, you can still be playing it's I love that aspect. You it's know, everybody awesome, was talking dude. about like, oh yeah, Brawl is on all platforms. No, no, no. Now, now it's, it's on all on platforms. All platforms. It's crazy. Tablets, phones, it, and it, it works. We've we've tested it on so many different wacky touchscreen devices. Yep. <laughs> um, and the the minimum spec requirements are actually pretty low. So yeah. Even if you've got a sort of old iPhone or whatever. It works. You're good. It'll still work. Yeah, we were testing on like a ton of everything. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, pass me that one. Let me uh, try yeah, to Yeah, I love it. And again, I want to go back to like the controls customizations. You can do so much. My personal favorite You actually part. can do so much with the control customization. Every single button yep. can be slid anywhere on the screen. You can, it, you can change the size of every single button individually. Yeah. Um, you can group them together. You also, like, you can, like, say you're trying to um, dash, uh, uh, chase dodge downlight yep. on Katars, right? Because oh, yeah. that's what you got to oh. do, right? You got to do it. That's what you're looking for. You can, you can move your controls in a way where, like, your dodge is near your light attack, and you can slide your finger yeah. from, the, from the dodge slash dash to the light attack. Oh, and, believe and get, you me. Like, I have done some really weird setups <laughs> of like changing different sizes just to like get different motions and yeah. like placing them in odd different spots. I think I gave some of our programmers an aneurysm just being like, <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, I guess if that works. But I was like, listen, if I'm playing this kind of weapon, I want to try some weird stuff. Exactly. <laughs> you can also change like the transparency of the buttons. Yeah, that you is You know weird. where your buttons are and you don't want anything to get in the way of you seeing the gameplay. You can do that. There's also yep. different camera modes that are based yeah. completely for mobile because, as you can imagine, you don't want your thumbs getting in the way yep. of seeing your characters. We also worked on that. Sometimes we might we actually like slide the camera over in ways that are. We'll even show you like 
where the stage isn't. We'll show you right. gray bars instead of where there is no stage for the sake of keeping, keeping all the action right in keeping, the middle. Yeah, keeping not only your character away from your, your fingers, yep. but also still being able to see your opponents because that you know, in development we figured out that that was an issue. Yep. You, know, you you still need to be able to see who's edge guarding you no matter what. Absolutely. Uh, the camera modes are great. The controls feel great. Trust me, it's it's better than you can imagine. Brahala coming to mobile Woo. in 2020. Can you believe it? It's happening. I'm so ready. Woo. I'm so ready. So it's time for our final reveal, and you know what it is, but you don't know exactly what it is. Yeah. It's the meta dev. That's right. What is the new meta dev for 2020? Because as you know, for meta devs, we always, when when we, we reveal a new one at the world championship and yep. we retire the old one, right? right? First was meta dev Orion before we even had a world championship. Yep. And at 2016, we revealed the meta dev Bryn and we stopped That's making right. the Orions, all right? And then after Bryn, Ember. BCX 2017, we revealed the Ember, Ooh. right? At 2018, we revealed the Bode Bar. That's right. And now, today, it's time to retire the Bode Bar. And wait, let's oh. let's pull oh. them out because oh, okay. we got them right here and give you guys the latest meta dev. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, you on ready? three. One, two, three. Meta dev Asuri is the new yeah. meta dev. There you go. I hear people cheering. It's a out dream. There. It's a dream just, come true for that's me. That's your personal. It's thing. a dream come <laughs> true for course. me. Meta Dev Asuri. <laughs> this All right, guys. Wow. What a bunch of amazing reveals. We got the new legend. We got the new game mode, capture the flag. We got the new platform, Brawlhalla, finally coming out on mobile. That is going to be huge for bringing in new people to the game who don't necessarily have a gaming pc or a console they could play on mobile so that's going to be really big for growing the uh brahala community and i can't wait to play that axe and scythe legend i've been getting into axe a lot recently and scythe has always been one of my favorites and i also love the spooky vampire uh character although i feel like they've done several vampires uh skins there's one for caspian and and one for dusk but um it's pretty cool, so I, I'm really hyped. Uh, <laughs> the meta dev is very, eh, I, <laughs> I was kind of hoping for a different meta dev, but that's still pretty cool, and I, I'm going to hope to try to get one as well. Let me know what you guys thought of these reveals in the comments below. I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy.